on this edition of the AudioCat channel. Boy J. Cruz, that can the audio cat, man. Josh is trying to scare me, man, but you know what? It's a good job. Today we got a different project for you, man. We're gonna try something different with the lighting. We've been doing lighting for many years, the standard DLR, standard um, underglows, grill lights, and so on. We're trying to go something different, man. We got a special guest in the building, man, a special car. We've done the whole build from wide body all the way down to the lighting of it, but we're gonna go with something a little bit different. We are gonna do underglow, we are gonna do some wheel lights, but we're gonna go a little bit different on this car. This is the Black Battle Cat, man. If you don't know who he is, a great friend of mine personally, hit him up on Instagram, man. He's the Black Battle Cat. Great dude. He does have one of the most beautiful ones out here, man. It's very simple, very clean. If y'all don't know this, this is from a cartoon back in the day. Comment below and see you know where this Battle Cat emblem come from. We've done the wide body, we've done the wheel, all this is done here at the shop, but we're gonna try something different on him today. We're gonna try to do a light strip that's gonna come up here on this upper grill area to glow into a white font here. And then I'm gonna actually try to get these stripes and bring them down in red light to the top and the bottom. So we got the red light continuing. Never been done. We're trying it, we don't even know how it's gonna come out to be. But one thing I can tell you is that we are always down to try new ideas. So we came up with that today. He brought the car in. We're gonna knock out the wheel lights and the underglow, but we're also gonna do something a little more crazy on the build of trying to get a different kind of glow uh, in the front of the vehicle from everybody else's dog. So stay tuned and we're gonna start disassembling this car, taking out the bumpers, trying different mechanisms, different lights, try to see if we can get this effect that we're looking for. And uh, also tag the underglow and the wheel lights. Stay tuned. So at this point in time on the black battle cab, we got the bumper removed. We're getting ready to start doing the lighting on this car. We're gonna remove the wheels in this car to start making the custom brackets and I'll show you exactly why we have to do that in this car There is nowhere to get it. So we have to make some brackets and we're gonna remove those wheels But the bumpers coming off we got something very cool going for this Josh How are you feeling about this weird ass idea we're coming up with? Can't wait to see it done. I want to see what it's gonna look like. I think it'd be very interesting, man. And for you guys that do not know, we are also now doing performance. So we have this beautiful Mustang here belongs to Trey Tremaine um, great customer for a long time. I've done his Chargers, um, his Challengers, and other car, but we got the motor out on this one. Stay tuned to the vlog on this one. I'm building this one to be a 302. I'm stroking it out to a 351. It's going to be a pretty interesting build, y'all. So this car, I, I didn't get y'all the vlog to take it apart, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it back together again and get this one to be. So if you need any kind of mechanic work, performance builds, shock absorbers, suspension, uh, motor work, if you need cans, if you need crankshafts, if you need to rebuild the motor, you need to change the transmission, uh, you want to make the car faster, Come and check us out here at AutoZone. Stay tuned for the build on Black Battle Cat. Black Cruise Crew, so we have just removed all the wheels from the Battle Cat vehicle. And uh, now that you're going to see this going around, all the wheels are removed on the car. So we're going to start disassembling the rotor assemblies to be able to get access to what we need in the back to make this happen. So right now I'm going to raise the car up higher, get the rotors off, and show you how it works. Stay tuned. Give you a quick what's going on. This is, the, this, is the, this is the caliper bolt for the top, caliper bolt for the bottom. We cannot get to this because the AID arm. The other one is usually thinner than this one, but this is a racing arm. So we have to move this lower uh, bracket here to be able to swing this arm down. And now we can get to the bolt. It's not going to be for the caliper. So we do the same thing on both sides. As you can tell here even a little bit better now. You can see what I'm talking about. Upper bolt, lower bolt, blocked by this. So we have to remove the arm. On the front side, we're going to remove this whole brake caliper assembly. We can be these two bolts right here, which is the top one here, the bottom one here. Take the caliper off, then we're gonna make some brackets that are gonna come off of our own. We gotta fabricate some blackers on this thing. So one gonna come here, one gonna come here, one gonna come out from over here, over here, and that's what gonna support that. So right now we're in the process of removing this to be able to get the caliper out and uh, get this going. So now we're taking out the brakes. Uh, calipers. That's the lower bolt. Now I'm gonna take off the upper bolt. A lot of pressure. Yeah. And that's a wrap. So now that was done. So when this is done, good look like this. The calipers hanging. I put the bolts right back in location so they know where they're at. But now we have the area to be able to do what we need to do to build it out. So this is what's gonna happen here. Stay tuned the things off now we can go ahead and remove the rotor and it can expose the plate that we're going to use on the back side to be able to tie up to do the floating ring so this is where we're going to grab this uh, stuff from so that's what that is now we'll do the front 
Let me show people what you're doing. I don't know <laughs> so let's show them what's going on. I already took these two bolts off. We're about to take these two bolts off and show you a little better what it is exactly that we have to do here. So I'm gonna show you what's going on. These are the brackets I'm saying that we had to make to be able to sort the port the ring. So you can see that the ring is solid, but we had to pretty much go from the bolt back here, the bolt back here, and the bolt back here that hold this hub. So you can see the bolts right here. One here, one here, one here. Make the extension brackets, and then that's gonna be your ring here. So that one's already done. We got that one situated. And then Josh also got this one here done, which I didn't show y'all, but let me get the rotor out so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me grab this here for you. So these are the bolts that come into the metal bracket here. You see this? And that's how the ring gets supported. So these two are ready to go. I'm gonna continue on the other side and um, get the lineup for the Battle Cat, which he just came in the building. Battle Cat, what you want? Get, get your camera face on. Psh, get your camera face on. Psh, get What's your up, camera people? face on. What's up, people? <laughs> Tell everybody something. This is Pops, and he's the one that's gonna be sporting Battle Cat. He ain't never drove my car, has he? Never. That'd be a video. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be a video. You had never, yeah. you had never give me that. Look, no, he's Chevy gang. That's why. Nah, hell no. He, <laughs> what you drive? What's your sports car? My sport car? Right there. The Z06 Corvette. Come on, <laughs> right there. Right there. Look at it right there. Look at it right there. <laughs> but y'all. Uh, what you want to tell about it, Cat? I know it could be, be a journey, could process, I mean, and you're trusting the process, and now we're building it. Hey, I've been saying it since day one. If you want one-stop shop, Jeff has done all this work. You know, you've seen the wide-body kid go on. Now he's doing the lights. Hey, we told you, bigger and better things coming. Wait till they, they see the, the rest. First, so just wait. I told y'all, we got some things coming. You'll see. And, bro, if God opens up this door that we're looking at, Rob, we might have even a bigger, better shop within the next two months. What you mean, we might? No, we don't, we don't think that way. We don't think that way. You know what? I failed. I failed because it's true. Yeah, we, don't we don't think, think that, way. that way. But right now we're in negotiation for the location. Okay. And it's going to be definitely something bigger because now we can bring the paint correction, ceramic coating into the shop, the wrapping in the shop, the window tints that I got another bait in the shop, and then we have a performance side and a modification all in one shop. Mm -hmm. It's that See, big. I'm trying to get my car ceramic coated, so if. It's, you know. it's that big. Hey, it's some tough competition out there. You know, there's oh, a guy named uh, Carter. No, Carter. Listen, shout out to Carter. If you don't know who Carter is, <laughs> man, he goes in the name of um, Anthony. But no, his business. Carter's Detail. Carter's Detail. Man, listen, no no cap, man. Carter is A class in detailing. I'm not trying to take no business from Carter, man. I actually shot him out because the dude is amazing. If I didn't. He might end up doing my car before I get this going because he's really that cold, man. So shout out to Carter, man. In reality, awesome dude, man. He yeah. does great work, ceramic coating, paint correction. Shoot him out, man. In fact, I'm gonna put his description on this video. Carter is a great dude, you know what I'm saying? And, and I can't make him work for me because he's on his own, but you know, that's the guy I would hire because he's just cold with it. But we're gonna oh. continue with the Black Battle Cat build. Let me ask something, real quick. I want Jeff to look at something. See them tips? Yes, they gotta go. I bought those tips, black. Get out of here. They were black in the bottom? Yeah. So they say once you go back, you never go back, but I guess that wasn't so true. So this, this they what happened, hit, they well, hit, right? No, no. What happened was these were originally chrome and they painted them black and they sold them That's as black. That's what I said. So, They're you know, that's the black. second set I bought. Now, if somebody knows, like, how to repaint them black, but honestly, I think. It's not even I'm a paint, bro. That you stay. know what? How about we do something different for yours? I'm not going to say it on camera. Let me get off okay. the camera. So, in a battle cast car. You can see exactly what's going on. This is already mounted. Battle cap already here. Talking. And then we got this wheel here. The ring is mounted. I'll show you the front. Mounted. And the same thing on the other side. So now at this point in time, we're gonna tighten everything up, start working on the underglow, and bring the other surprises to the table. So it's a job. You know what we do here in Audio Zone, man. Um, stay tuned if we get this built done for Battle Cat. Cruise crew, at this point in time, we have the wheel lights done, all of the underglow done. Gave me a little bit of a challenge because obviously there's a lot of stuff going on over here with the fuel lines and everything else, but at this point in time, that's done. We are now at the front stage of putting the wires in to close this up and get the wheel lights and everything glowing. But uh, it's a journey, but it could be bad after when it's done, so stay tuned, man. I'm just giving you a little update of exactly what's going on on the Black Battle Cat, and it is amazing, man. It's gonna be an amazing build. Wait till you see the seat light up. Crew shoots so back in the battle cap build, man. We have it together already. You can see the underglow is flowing. The wheel lights are looking amazing. We got on a green and red right now for him. This is pretty cool. You can see the underglow going on. Looks amazing with the big 22 Corleone 4. It's definitely a beautiful build. But we got something else going on here, champion. We're about to do over there. He's working on the project of doing the lights that we're doing a custom build for to get this one situated very shortly. So stay tuned. 
All right, cruise crew, so here in the finale of the beautiful Black Battle Cat Man, I'm gonna walk you guys through to what's going on with her. She's actually got the wheels going, the underglow, I showed you all that. But let me show you guys exactly what we got going on the front. Actually, before we do that, come over here, want to introduce you to somebody. Y'all know him, Black Battle Cat, but look at the Gucci. They say Gucci brings you, but we can't say because we marry men and we don't need that. <laughs> but, long story short, we just have a little special feel, a little bit different. Um, man, I really wish we could, uh, Let's back her up. Give me a second, y'all. Yeah, so this is the finale, but I'm gonna show you what we did, man. So basically, he's gonna get the stripes done. You see the red stripes coming down here? He's gonna bring them down, but we did something first time ever. We actually continued this down with the, turn it on. So now we have a light. So now you can see that this is gonna come and follow straight down, all the way to down. So when he puts the two stripes on that coming down, it's gonna match that red coming all the way down through the grills. First time ever. We also did this white um, glow in front of his car to make it very different from his from everybody else. Now watch this, go go, go! signal. Look at that y'all. Signal the whole side of the car, including his wheels, and giving them signal. And the same thing on the other side. And that blue ghost module does miracles. So now, let's show it to Rob. Right, cruise crew, so at this point in time, I'm gonna show y'all something first. Go ahead and give it a, a, a ignition for him real quick. I heard what you said, what does it do when the happens on? They both, turn, all four turn on. Just like you see right now. Even the wheels. But come on back, let me show you what's going on. Turn off everything, let's give you a hum la ha ha la la la. So Mr. Rob. Man, what did you do to my car? We turned it into a Nissan Maxima, man. We're gonna put the big block in it though. We're gonna make it fast again. We're gonna change it from a V6 to a, an eight cylinder. Hey, you need a what's name? Oh, I'm bad, okay. Uh, <laughs> thumbnail? <laughs> but look, you, you see everything going on there. We got that red and blue going for you. But you see how everything gets coked and start following each other down that. That's one interesting thing. Here goes the other one. So now turn on the car. Go, go stand over here, Rob. Dun, dun. Turn on the car. So now, when you get the stripe, the stripe's gonna come straight down. But then we have to come straight down the front, straight down here, so now you have an effect that nobody else has. Plus you got the white, which when he turns, you see the turn signal. You see that? Fog lights. Right side. You got the fog at the turn on white, but you also have the turn signals there. Turn off everything. Turn on the DLRs, the white ones. No, the, the DLRs, and he got it on, on a ghost module. Oh, you want me to turn it on? Yes. So we get a different effect. Hold on. All right, Josh, turn around now so we can see what it was I'm talking about. That's crazy. Now you have a different effect from every other target that's out there. You actually look at you have something floating right in the middle of the car. When the red stripes come down, they're actually going to match up with those lights. Yeah. Then your stripes will look like they never ended. That's a pretty cool ass idea. You like that? We got a white guy in the building, man. Nick, tell everybody what's your name, what you do for a living besides being a porn star. I'm just a porn star. <laughs> Nick is my wheel guy, man. But go ahead and uh, get that going. You, how, you, you, now you see everything flow and everything going on. Yes, sir. Now let's check this. At this point in time, she's got a different look from everybody else in Mr. Rob. So you, you came for one build. You came for a couple builds. Now you got a different build. How are you feeling about this? Oh, man, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I know somebody can be following you very soon. What's his name? Oh, we don't want to say his name, Ken. We don't want to be saying that on a video, but no, no. Ken will be out here very yes. soon. Intimidated. He'll probably be next. Yep. <laughs> he will. But you know, it's, it's all good. If Ken comes, we welcome you too, Ken. But look, the Gucci, the Gucci, you know, I love Nemesis. He's got the Audi cat, man. It's all a good thing. What do you want to say about your build today? We end this here. So you got the turn signals? Yeah. On the bottom of the fog light. So the turn signals, Josh, turn on, Josh, turn on everything. I got to edit this whole video here, but turn on everything. Put the signal to one side, turn on the car, the whole nine. So you got the turn signals on this side, on the bottom. You have a DLR here, you have a DLR up here. That at night it could look like it's going straight across, upper and lower. The reds that come down. I love it. Love is just... <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right word. I know tonight when you go out, it's going to be a lot of attention. It's going to be different, nobody has it. Oh, I got a place for it, too. I got a photo shoot for it tonight. Well, that photo shoot can be coming, man. If you don't know him, I already gave him. It's Black Battle Cat on Instagram. Follow him. Follow up on this build, man. It's a beautiful build. A lot of great things coming to this car. We always want to thank you for giving us a chance again to serve you and uh, oh, make this happen for you. And We're going to start announcing something from now, too. Start announcing Tipton. Next, next time you want something, just come in here and ask him for the J&J &J special. That's what I got. Okay, what does J&J &J mean, man? Jeff and Josh. 
Je- okay. <laughs> we gotta make sure because Battle Cat, Lee, Battle man, Cat, you know, bro. Josh, it could have been something else. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Hey, you, you know what? I just, had, I just had 45, man, so maybe it went human. It's all good. But he said 45. Good. He's yeah. still I know you're 51. Me. Hey, no, I ain't. But, uh, I'm close. <laughs> I'm getting there. But uh, she's a rap. Nigga, take delivery of his car, man. What you want to tell everybody on YouTube today, man? Besides, don't forget Tipton. Let's start talking about Tipton. Yeah, let's start talking about that. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been going with us and showing love down in Oklahoma. We're going to do it totally different for 2023. It's not going to be no early morning, but... I want us to get down there. I know we like to go to Tipton, but I want to kind of move more of the focus on the Altus part to give you guys with a lot of your good cars opportunities to actually get in and, you know, maybe win some some contestants and, you know, win and show out. Yeah, and show what your cars can do. So uh, I am working on flyers right now. I got a couple of car clubs that's already interested, as I called you a few minutes ago. Um, Let's make it big. Let's let's go down there and show them what Dallas do. And let's, let's, you know, they open up. They, they opened it up with uh, open arms to us. So oh, 100%. 100%. And what else you wanted? What second but uh, that was last, but this is definitely not least. Bring your car to audio zone, <laughs> baby. Man, you know what? We do our best, man. That's 100%. We're going to do our best to always serve. Check this and out. Take care of y'all, man. The first mod I had, I still got on my car. Look at it. Yep. That's right here. It was done. Actually, we tried to prank him on this video. Me and Real yep. tried to prank him. We did the carbon fiber wrap on that hood. That was about maybe three years ago, four yep. years ago, something like that. Still holding the So at this point in time, I'm ending the video, man. Always telling you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Y'all be good and God bless. Oh.